So let's talk about the Chicago uh, sky line um, seen from Stevensville, Michigan. And this was taken by Joshua Nowitzki. He's a professional photographer. And um, this is what he has seen. Okay. Um, and so let's open up the map, the traditional map. This is Stevensville, where um, Joshua Nowitzki I was taking the picture from. And this is Chicago. And um, if you look at. Um, this um, this liner you can measure the air miles between the two um, and so um, I measured it and it's about 94 kilometers or 58.4 miles you can check it out yourself measure it yourself and see for yourself it's about that <clears throat> and so um, by uh, calculating the earth curvature this should not be seen okay 94 miles probably the guy is about 1.7 meters high or 5.57 feet and uh, here's the result the target should be 626 meters below what you can see below the horizon or 2,055 feet. Now, in Chicago, in this picture, the Willis Tower, okay, the Willis Tower is 1,458 foot or 442 miles. So by that, this should be already under the curvature. You shouldn't see it, but clearly we can see it. How come? Well, it turns out that the Earth is flat. Um, and this is how it looks like on video. Okay, the same guy did this time lapse video. You can see clearly that um, from that position, you can see all the towers, not only the village tower, but other smaller towers, smaller buildings, maybe third, fourth the time, fifth the time of the village tower. And clearly you can see it okay so how can you say that the earth is globe what proof do you have that the earth is globe where, where I have clear proof that the earth is flat and you can see that there is no curvature okay now this guy is a funny guy he's a meteorologist or something like that meteorologist Tom and he's and he thinks that this is just a mirage let's look into this Conditions are right on the lake that we're actually seeing a mirage of the Chicago skylight. Very interesting. Here's what's happening. This is a, a good example of a superior mirage. So Joshua was on the Lake Michigan shore. He was looking towards the west, and Chicago's beyond the horizon. Should not be able to see it. However, with the right conditions, we have an inversion. We have cold air near the cold lake water and some relatively warmer air above it. This will bend the image of that. Uh, skyline back towards the viewer. And so typically we would not be able to see this. This image would be viewable from much, much higher in the sky up in space. But instead, we're able to see it on the Lake Michigan shore. Very fascinating. And that's the same reason we're actually seeing this. Do you believe this? I mean, this, he, he, this guy can't be serious. He knows what he's talking about and he just wants to. Probably he's lying, I would say. If not, then he, he pro, he, he, he's not. He's not thinking really. This is how a super mirage looks looks like, and uh, you can view a couple of more image uh, videos or images. Well, I'm sure you. I'm going to show you one. <clears throat> so as you can see, the super mirage is always a turn upside down image of the original. So you can see the ship, and you can see it turned upside down above it, right above it. You can also see that the mirage is blurred and um, 
you can't see anything blurred in this picture right this is not a mirage it's not turned upside down it's clear not blurred this is a mirage this is not a mirage and the reason for that because there's no curvature the earth is flat